What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and we are here today with the review for Baddies ATL Season 1, Episode 8. How many episodes is left of this show? I'm over this show. I'm over it. It's not bad, it's just that I'm over it. I'm over it at this point. And then I got some more shows that's coming back. We got Raising Canaan next Sunday, The Shy. <sighs> Alright, you guys. So, yeah, the name of the episode Surprise. It was a surprise, alright. Um, so before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any other videos on the channel and not already subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button, you guys. Stop taking me out on a date, and I have to pay for my own meal. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review without further ado. All right, you guys, so this episode, it was okay, I guess. So in this episode, we see, so it's Sydney's birthday, right? So Sydney calls Megan. Megan is down there in Atlanta, and Megan is invited over to the house by Sydney, right? So Sydney wants her to come up to the house and hang out with the girls. She wants her to go out to the club with them. And when she gets there, she'll, you know, fill Megan in on what's going on in the house with she and the other ladies, right? So Megan asks her, like, is it even okay if I come down to come to the house? And Sydney's like, yeah, it's okay if you come to the house because I mean I live here too, which I agree with that. She lives there too. And if she wants to invite people to the house, Sydney 100 percent should be able to invite whoever she wants to the house without the girls having an issue with it, despite whoever her guest is. So I, I'm in agreement with that. So um, Sydney asks Megan, how is she when it comes to the likes of Natalie and Tanisha? Now, if you guys don't know the history between Megan and Natalie, that has been years. Now, at one point, Megan and Natalie had, had squashed their beef. Megan and Natalie had squashed their beef at one point because... I remember a few years ago when they were in Dallas, they had a booking in Dallas and they went to Fuel City Tacos. And I actually believe that this was before a Bad Girls All-Star Battle, if I'm not, it might have been before All-Star Battle. Yeah, I think it was before All-Star Battle because Megan, Megan actually said something that she said in this episode that, did she say it in this episode? I don't know. But Megan said that, you know, if it's, if, if you um, involve money, I mean, I can be in a room with anybody as long as, you know, even if it's my enemy, I can be in a room with them and still make my money. So Megan thinks that, you know, um, she and Natalie need to have a conversation, right? And then she says that the beef with her and Tanisha is, she, you know, she says she has a little beef with Tanisha, but she didn't expound upon her little beef with Tanisha, right? So then out by the pool, we see Janelle, Christina, Seven, and they're talking, right? And they talk about, the, they're talking once again about the fight between Seven and between um, Sarah, um, Seven is saying that the fight wasn't her fault, right? Because she gave um, Sarah multiple warnings. Okay, I'll agree with you that you gave Sarah multiple multiple warnings. Actually, I even agree with you that it wasn't your fault because you got, like you said, you gave the girl warnings and she did not heed your warnings. So, hey, it is what it is. You didn't heed my warnings. I popped your ass. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that to Seven, right? So then Sydney comes down to the pool, and my God. When it comes to Sydney, Sydney is theatrical. She is extra. She does too much for me, and it's just hella annoying for me. Like Sydney really gets on my damn nerves. So then, you know, she tells them about her birthday and the fact that she's invited Megan. Now, mind you, the girls there, they all like Megan. I I know that Christina and, and Megan are cool because they were on the same season with each other. Um, Megan and Janelle, they are cool with each other in real life. They've had some issues over the years, but they have managed to be cool with each other. I didn't know that Seven knew Megan. I, again, like I said, I don't really know much about Seven, so I can't say about Seven. But um, they think that, you know, um, they talk about that. Then they talk about the beef between Janelle and between um, Sydney. There is no beef between Janelle and Sydney. Sydney is just looking for any moment wherever she can get her moment. So, uh, so I guess it's an issue of Whose body is better? Honestly, because I be look because if you look at Sydney, if you look at her, uh, if you look at Sydney, Sydney right uh, up uh, on her breast, she needs to go get laser hair removal. I mean, I'm not being shady. She needs to go get laser hair removal because you can see where Sydney has to shave her chest, her breast because she has still has hair because you can see the hair follicle. You can see the hair follicles on her chest, her breast. Sydney needs to go get her, get some laser hair removal for that. 
So then she and Janelle show their bodies to each other. I'm like, oh my God. Now Janelle's body. Um I have no I have no comment on it, right? So yeah, Sydney told the girls about um inviting Megan. She wants them to go to a gay club. And they feel that she needs to go tell Natalie and Tanisha what she's done. So that's what she's gonna go do, right? Let's move on. All right, you guys, Sarah. Sarah is so annoying. Like, I don't remember Sarah being this annoying on Bad Girls Club. I remember Sarah on Bad Girls, Bad, BGC 11 Miami. I do remember her always crying to the girls about them pulling her hair out. I always remember any time Sarah got into a fight, she cried about her hair being pulled. That part, I do remember. But I don't remember, remember her being annoying. You know what? That is why the girls spoke Sarah because Sarah was annoying them. So maybe she was. I, 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 but see, I guess I was. I, I guess I overlooked that because I didn't like any of the girls from season eleven. The especially the originals. I didn't like any of the originals. I can stand any of them with the exception of Sarah. I thought they were all bullies. I thought they were all jumper hoes. You know, you had um, Tiana. You had. Jazz Monet, which that is the ugliest fucking name around. You made up a whole damn name. Jazz Monet. That is hideous. Jazz Monet. You had Stephanie. You had Tess, who left early. You had Mimi. You had Sarah. And you had Stephanie. Again, like I said, Sarah was the only one out of the original seven girls that I liked. So Sarah goes into Natalie's room and Sarah has a whole issue with Natalie. Now I will give Sarah this. The way that Natalie does talk to her, I would have popped Natalie in her in her chin a long time ago, right? So then she also has a it, Sydney comes in there, right, to talk to Natalie. And then that that shows another issue that Sarah has. Sarah has an issue with the fact that it's her birthday. It's not necessarily Sydney's birthday. So why are we having a birthday cake? You know, why are we getting a birthday cake with me and um and um Janelle? I mean not um Janelle, but um me and Sydney. Sydney says, Well, you know, it is my birthday today. You know, every every day is my birthday in February. I can't knock you there because they, like this is my birth week, baby. And my birthday is Friday. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna knock her, but girl, what? Shut up about the cake. That's really what it was. That's what it was. It was the cake. So Sydney tells Natalie, hey, sis, I've invited Megan to the house. And Natalie says, oh, no, I got to call. No, no, no. Then she calls Tanisha and Sydney tells her that she invited Megan over. Now, for, Ma for, 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 for Natalie to sit there and say that she is not afraid of Megan, girl, the way that she was moving and, and moving in, in that discussion with talk with, um, you had with Sydney and even with Tanisha, I would really believe that you are afraid of Megan. Like I really would. And let's 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 go back in BGC history because I do know I, I know my BGC history, not a lot of it. I don't only thing about BGC history I don't know is anything like I've said before. Anything past season twelve, which was Chicago. I don't know anything past that. Anything before that, I know. So Bad Girls All Star Battle. You guys see, remember season one of Bad Girls All Star Battle. Like I said, Megan and Natalie has had a tumultuous history for years, right? And like I've said before, Megan, not Megan, but Natalie always made it a mission of hers to tweet about whatever girl on whatever was the it, whoever was the it girl of their, their, their season, Natalie made a way to tweet about them and have an issue with them, right? Because Natalie, I can tell you who all Natalie's had an issue with after season, um, at season, um, after season four, right? Season five, I, I don't remember who Natalie had an issue with. Season five, I can't tell you guys that one because I don't remember. I remember, I remember the girls in season five. I don't remember who she had an issue with. Um, I don't remember who she had an issue with. But season six, I know she had an issue with Char. Season seven, she had an issue with Judy and with Stasi and a little bit with Tierra, but Tierra didn't pay her no mind too much. Season eight, it was the twins. Season nine, it was Megan. Season 10. Who did she have an issue with season 10? Oh, I, well, I didn't care about this one. She had an issue with, um, she had a Twitter beef, I believe, with Shannon. And it was because she was talking about Shannon's titties in the, um, casting special. And season 11, it was Jazz Monet. So, yeah, so Bagger's also about, you guys remember Bagger's also about her, that 
Megan wanted to fight Natalie, and I, well, that's when Natalie said, I'm international, bitch. He was talking all that mess, but Megan wanted to fight her in the house and at the reunion, and Natalie runs her mouth. Even Tanisha told Natalie that you run your mouth, sis, and she does. So Natalie goes over to Tanisha's crib, right, and she feels some type of way about Megan being on a flyer that Sydney put out and the fact that Megan hasn't been around the girls, she doesn't support them. And then Natalie was like the fact that, you know, when it comes to Megan, I guess Megan was supposed to be a part of this thing, but it fell through. I don't know. Don't really care. It sounds so stupid to me. But Tanisha says, well, if Megan's coming to the house, how about me and you go over there and me and you have a conversation with Megan, have a conversation with Megan, right? Okay. Oh, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of my notes. Damn. Okay. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So then we see that Christina has invited Megan over to the house, right? And she comes over there with balloons with a bur- and they have a birthday cake for Sydney. For these women to be in their thir- in their thirties or close to their thirties, they still act very much so like they did when they were on Bad Girls Club. And the fact that Megan showed up in similar gear like she did on season nine, you guys remember season nine, at the finale episode that um, they called him back to come do a photo shoot at the house. And you guys remember Megan showed up, you know, ready to fight, right? How many times has Megan done that? I can't count. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't. That's what I'll say. I don't remember. But I know she did it then. So she showed up to the house the same way. I'm like, girl, did you show up to this house ready to fight? And they asked her, did you show up ready to fight? She says, no, I didn't show up ready to fight. But she is talking about the fact that, you know, they got big boxing gloves that she, maybe she and Natalie can box it out. I don't care. So then, um, Sydney is telling Megan what's happening in the house. I'm like, really? That's what we doing? Okay. I mean, I guess. Now, here's where Sydney lost me. Oh, my God. Sydney is so effing annoying. Sydney is a stan of this show, which I already knew that Sydney was a big fan of Bad Girls Club, and she always wanted to be on the Bad Girls Club. I knew that about Sydney, right? I knew, I found out, about, this is how I found, actually, Bad Girls Club is where I first found out about Sydney, because every year, people would do a campaign. I think they started this campaign for Sydney to be on Bad Girls Club on Twitter, after se- which season eight, because they wanted her on, they wanted her on Las Vegas. That was the first time that I saw Sydney. They wanted her on Las Vegas. It didn't happen. So then they really ramped up for season nine with um, Mexico and Cabo. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, when Sydney didn't Sydney say she was supposed to be a replacement on that season? I don't remember. I don't care. I don't know. So Sydney says, you know, with Judy, because she was talking about Judy being her roommate, Judy being a witch, Judy having that broom. Judy doing, you know, getting in the mirror in the four in the morning, doing her affirmations, everything. So Sydney is talking about the fact that, you know, like what Judy did on season on, on, on New Orleans. Remember when she served Priscilla, I served you breakfast in bed. I'm going to serve Judy breakfast in bed like she did Priscilla. I'm like, oh, my God, Sydney. Really, girl? Why? It's been done. If you do it, you're gonna look like a cheap imitation. I really don't like this. I really don't like Sydney. I really don't like Sydney. I just really come to the conclusion that I just don't like Sydney. She's annoying as fuck. She's annoying as fuck. Yep, don't like her. So then they're talking about the fact that Megan should go and talk to um, Tanisha and Natalie. And, you know, um, Megan is talking about the fact that she doesn't trust Sydney, that Sydney's friends with them. She doesn't trust Sydney. She'll go with Christina. I'm like, but Christina is cool with Tanisha. Now, mind you, she fought Natalie, but she is cool with Tanisha. Now, I do know that they have some issues going on currently. This, to this day, they have issues. I know that they just filmed their reunion. God, that must mean that this season is wrapping up. They filmed a reunion. It's wrapping up. 
Lord, let's hope it's wrapping up. Because I know Jocelyn's Cabaret had their finale last night. So I hope that this show is wrapping up. So Tanisha and Megan and Natalie, they're in the, that boardroom. And that's actually where the episode went off, you guys. So that's it. Um, If they do bring baddies back for season two, they have to revamp it. Really, tr- They have to revamp the show because it's just not the best. It doesn't have a direction. It doesn't have a story. But um, that's it, you guys. Be sure to like the video. Leave your comments in the comments section below and subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share the video. Until the next one, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands. Please wear your mask or not. Whichever one you guys do decide to do, be blessed and be safe in whatever you do on social distance. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.